All right, so this is my rental for my week-long stay here in Texas. The 2014 Chevy Silverado LT. I'll do a quick walk around, show you guys the interior, I'll do just kind of a general tour. I believe this truck with four-wheel drive retails for around 43, 44,000. At least it did when it was brand new. Overall, it's a pretty nice truck and my general first impressions are relatively good. It rides really nice. Unfortunately, since it is a rental, they, uh, for whatever reason, didn't clean it up the best that they could have. But that's pretty typical for airplane rental companies. These rental companies that are at the airport. It's the ass end. It's actually kind of nice because it's got these uh, steps here in the, in the bumpers, as well as the backup warning system and a backup camera, which I forget where that's located, but it's got a uh, soft drop tailgate. I forget what exactly that's called. And then, as you can see, the corners you have your cargo hooks. It's nice that they include bed liners. But it's actually running right now, it runs really quietly. go ahead and quickly show you guys the motor. There's the motor. Oh, wow, you gotta be kidding me. It's a 4.3. That can't be right. I didn't even know they offered the uh, 4.3 in this trim. I, that's, uh, that's really surprising, boys. But there it is. It surprised the hell out of me. does have the uh, running boards on the side. Power seats, at least on this side. Power windows, door locks, mirrors, all that good stuff. Go ahead and turn the AC off. One touch up and down. So it's got uh, two auxiliary jacks, a power outlet, three USB ports. In the back you have your single power jack. I believe there's a cup holder in here somewhere. Doesn't look like it actually. Got a little uh, cubby hole down there. down. Two more as well as a SD card slot and a uh, auxiliary end jack so that's kind of cool as well as another auxiliary power jack. Plus one for Chevy also has uh, looks like heated seats possibly even air conditioned as well but I think they might just be heated. Yeah, heated seats. They do have air conditioned seats. I don't know if it's offered in the Silverado, but they do surprisingly exist. Then you can adjust the brake and gas pedal forward and backward. Traction control, bed light, and your parking assist. I guess that's what that would be. Full gauge cluster, coolant temperature, battery, gas gauge, oil pressure, which is actually live. Wow. Doesn't sound too bad. Nice uh, bit of throttle response. You have all your 
controls here, Bluetooth for your phone, which I haven't hooked mine up yet. Uh, and then you have your cruise control over here on the left, intermittent windshield wiper control, headlights, fog lights. Now I did want to mention that as you can see down here in the bottom right, it says V6. It also switches to V4. Didn't think I'd ever be saying that anytime soon, but it uh, deactivates two of the cylinders when you're uh, on the highway cruising. Now, I don't think I'm gonna be having this thing enough to do an actual uh, fuel economy reading, but it's worth noting that the computer uh, within the truck says 19 to the gallon average fuel economy, which is probably about right. I believe this thing is rated to be about 23, 24 on the highway. And it features a seven speed automatic transmission as well. This is your fuel range, oil life, 17% remaining, even your tire pressure monitor, and your fuel economy. Best is 25.6. There's your speed, and there we are back at the uh, first trip. So that's the truck. Can't remember if there's anything else I forgot to mention. This does not have four wheel drive. So I think overall it's a pretty nice truck. It rides really nice. I just I just uh, got onto lunch. So uh, I, think, uh, I think this truck's gonna be uh, working really well for me. Uh, it does have HD radio. It picks up HD signals. So that's kind of cool. It definitely sounds HD. You can, you can tell a difference. Got a smaller cubby hole in here, which is kind of useful. Back seat's got ample an ample amount of room. I don't think anybody would have too much of an issue sitting back there. It looks like there's a lot of room. Center armrest. With cup holder. I will note that the uh, build quality is substantially improved versus the prior models of Silverados. Uh, my dad had the uh, 99 and a half, I believe, the uh, first run of that new rounded body style, which I, I do like that one, but I remember after my dad had it for a little while, um, this one has 23,000 miles on it, but after my dad had his for a little while, just everything just started rattling in it. There is a lot of cheap plastic. Uh, and Chevy, you know, really all the manufacturers have gotten better with their uh, build quality over the years. So that's good. Uh, this is hard plastic here. Up here you got kind of a rubberized, rubberized dash. It's kind of hard, but it's not plastic. At least it doesn't feel like it's plastic. It's probably a harder foam, but it's actually not too bad. I really like the uh, the whole ga uh, gauge and dash layout and everything. I think they uh, really got the ergonomics right with this truck. But I'm really surprised that they offer the 4.3 in this truck. Um, I even went onto Chevy's website just to check and I believe this trim, this motor starts at about 40,000 or so. Uh, but that's of course without all the rebates. Um, it is also worth noting, too, that if you do want to upgrade to the V8, it is well within uh, the price range. It only adds $1,000 to get the 5.3 uh, to your total cost, which is probably the case with this 2014. If it was me and there is just that much of a price difference to add on the V8, I would just get the V8. Overall, it's a pretty nice truck. It even has OnStar sunglasses holder looks like your uh, garage door remote garage door opener reading lights looks like your microphone for the Bluetooth tow haul mode you can also manually select the gears with this 
uh, with these two buttons on the stick. And then on the back of the steering wheel, there's a little button right here. You can control your volume. And over here on the left, you can control your radio station selection up and down. It does have XM, however, the subscription is unfortunately not active. That's really all I did. Here's the radio. Doesn't appear that there's any CD player, but nowadays you really don't even need one especially with a USB, with a thumb drive or, you know, an SD card or a line in, just really don't need it. So here's a quick driving video. Right here at a red light. This truck is uh, pretty quiet. Of course, if it was a V8, it'd probably be a little bit louder. But uh, so far, I am, uh, been, I've been really content with the amount of power that it does have, even though it is just a V6. From what I was reading, the uh, I believe it's an Ecotec 3. Um, whatever version, I don't know what generation of the 4.3 that is. It's obviously the uh, most recent one, but it generates like 286 some odd horsepower and then about 300, 305 uh, pound-feet of torque. So it's actually not too bad on the uh, power level. It, uh, it competes pretty well with the 3.6 that uh, Dodge is using in their, uh, in their entry-level pickups. Um, I haven't driven Ford's 3.7. I haven't driven any of their trucks with uh, that particular motor in it, but they all seem to compare pretty equally um, relatively speaking, between the three, they're all around the same horsepower and torque. Uh, the only difference is that Dodge uh, offers a eight-speed automatic, so they're able to uh, squeeze out a little bit more, a um, little bit better fuel economy out of it. But I was going to hope to give you guys some shift points, but here I am at a uh, another red light. And I can't do a zero to 60 because there's water in front of me. So I really apologize. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get you guys one. If I can, it won't be in this video. But she picks up pretty quickly. But overall, the trucks, I, I'm happy with the amount of power that it has is you know I'm sure it can tow I'm sure it can tow a few things obviously if you want to tow something heavy you're gonna want the V8 but... and then uh, I don't think I showed you guys the backup camera but it's pretty standard I find myself not even really using it most of the time to be honest I'm just so used to not using it not having one, I guess. But the uh, turning radius is pretty good on this truck. And as you guys can hear, it's warning me about the car that's behind me. Let's go ahead and throw her on in, throw her in park and in the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this for what it was worth. I know it's not really a uh, professional review by any means, but it is a consumer review, that's for sure. Duh. You all stay classy.